you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Finger, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the house rules and what we get from the house rules, guys. Now, this will be releasing at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, so I'm getting you guys a little head start in this video considering my schedule and I have to get things done, boys. I know the rules, the rewards, which rewards to take. I'm be going over everything in this video for you guys. Now, guys, this house rules is pretty cool. This most of your promo is pretty cool. The only issue is going to be how long it's going to take. It's going to take quite a while. It's going to be quite a drag. Sorry to have to say that, but it's true. Wait till you guys hear how many. If you guys don't know already, wait till you see how many wins you need. It is a week long at minimum, though. I do know that. It's not a two-day limited time event. It's at least a week long. There is three rewards to choose from. It is a fantasy pack. I know the rules. I'll go over the best ways I think you could probably compete in this thing. I'll show you screenshots of the players, their stats, rank them a little bit in this video, and go over everything for you guys. Hopefully, this helps you guys out tremendously with the house rules. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We are over 10K now. We're at 10.1. Are growing like crazy right now boys thank you for all the support for new come join the family hit that subscribe button comment down below say what's up let me know how you feel about this most weird promo so far give this video a big thumbs up boys don't forget we're running the three day long giveaway again 50k all you gotta do is like the video this video hits 400 likes i lowered the like goal if it hits 400 likes and you comment down below 50k i'm picking a random comment there by tomorrow if we don't hit it i'll pick it for the third day and if we don't hit it again i'll just give it away anyways boys don't worry about that so at least we got something out of this but don't forget smash the like button Comment down below 50k. Now let's get into these screenshots and show you guys everything that this promo has to offer. And what this, well, not everything the promo has to offer, everything most feared, uh, house rules has to offer. Now let's head on over to those screenshots. All right, guys, so you know I like to run this out of Photoshop. It is like the most efficient way for me to show you guys screenshots. So the haunted house rules, limited time event, mon monster plays head to head. So as you guys see, these are the crafting items that you could be earning. So from what it seems like, you know how typically when we play this, it's like five wins, coins, and trophies, 10 wins, coins, and trophies, 20 wins, coins, and trophies, and then the 30th one gives us our pack. It appears like instead of trophies and coins, maybe, there may be still coins, but we're going to be getting bats, which is the new currency, and crafting materials for the uh, the master set pieces instead, possibly. If we get all four, that's awesome. I'm not entirely sure, but that should be what we get, which is good because that'll help us make our set piece master cards for Ray Lewis, potentially, which is really awesome. So how Haunted House rules, switch it up with a ghoulish twist each one will earn you a cauldron pack collect your materials and craft the most feared players in uh, football so each win earns you a cauldron pack so a cauldron pack probably earns you one of these so honestly getting as many wins as you can could really lead a long way towards getting to a brand new player and quite honestly guys i have a pretty good method of coins to a uh, coin making method if you get enough of these materials so i might have a fire video for you guys coming when the promo drops and i get to really evaluate what we can do with all this guys so the rules go as follow 20 yard touchdown is 12 points 50 yard touchdown is instant win that's pretty huge guys so if you break a big play instant win so a lot of ways you can go about going about go about this but let me keep continuing before i get into that first to 20 is the winner so even if you don't score a 50 yard touchdown if you literally score a 20 yard touchdown and like get like a pick six or two 20 yard touchdowns the game is over it does not play beyond it does not play beyond 12 points which does i mean it does not play beyond 20 points so so the way I'd go about this, right? So 20 points could be closer to a regular game score. So I probably wouldn't want that. I mean, the 50-yard touchdown is pretty cool. But remember, I mean, people can't really be playing back on you. Because if they play back the whole game to avoid you getting a 50-yard touchdown, they're just going to let you score anyways. So defensively, I don't know. Defensively is going to be hard, right? Because if you blitz them and they break plays, and you maybe, they, maybe you want quick games like that. You want to stop them quickly, score. And if they score on you, whatever, you get out of the game quick. Because that's the best way to play house rules. The best way, the best way to play house rules is to play quick fast paced you lose you lose doesn't matter get into another game nothing's worse than playing full games and losing full games and losing full game oh you won but now you're two hours into like four full games you have two wins to show for it that's not the way i like playing house rules so 20 yard touchdowns for 12 points it's pretty easy post route a run a run an inside zone a counter any and normal play can get you that so that's kind of like if you just score a normal type touchdown it'll be pretty easy to get that 12 points but you will have to score more than one. You can't just score one 12 yard, 20 yard touchdown. You're gonna have to score more than one. Now, like I said, for the 50 yard touchdown, for me, I'll probably run the ball. Running the ball for me seems to be the easiest way for me to break big plays. Passing game, not so much, especially with the receivers I have. They're not entirely the fastest. Tory Holt's pretty fast, but he doesn't feel like it sometimes. But those are pretty much all the rules, guys. At the end of 75 wins, by the way, when you hit 75 wins, is the threshold to get your free 
not scary fantasy pack so it is going to be a fantasy pack by based off what they said so that does mean you get to choose one of the three options now the three options are going to be as follows tyree uh tyler tyree kill tyler lockett cam newton and earl thomas so i'm going to go over to the screenshots and i'm going to rank i'm going to go over all the stats and i'm going to rank them for you guys who I'd, I'd be wanting to pick out of these packs now honestly out of the three options i'm pretty sure i know who i want i do like all three of them just based off name value but i do not think that i agree with the idea of taking any of them like i wouldn't go out of my way for any of these guys although i really do want if they're free so i want one and remember if you get this one for free and you play the solo challenges and get another one for free you could potentially get almost a free ray lewis once you buy the other card then you get that card back nat so when all this is confirmed and everything drops i will go over the best ways to go about that but let's continue on with this so first screenshot we got cam newton so this is then this is one of the options 92 cam newton he's the scary strong card he's got the feet looking thing there someone said he probably won't get a skate artist but i find it hard to believe he won't if he gets bruiser or something that'd be pretty cool but i'm not a fan of this cam newton honestly 82 speed 90 throw power 88 throw accuracy short 85 throw accuracy mid 82 throw accuracy deep 83 throw under pressure 90 throw on the run 94 play action what does this cam newton look to you guys take take a hard look i can think of three quarterbacks if you took steve young and you stripped him of all of his passing ability, you would get Cam Newton. If you took Lamar Jackson and you stripped him of his speed, it would look like Cam Newton. If you took Michael Vick and you stripped him of his speed, it would look like Cam Newton. So the only way this Cam Newton could be better is if he has like an 85 stiff arm where he has some crazy, and I mean crazy underlying stats, because like Michael Vick and Lamar get like 92 juke moves. So like the only way Cam Newton's gonna be awesome if he gets like arm bar or something and he has like a 95 stiff arm or something, which I highly doubt it. So, other than that, this card looks like a going to be a more expensive version of a worse Vic, a worse Lamar, or a worse Steve Young. If he had like an 87 speed, maybe, but his speed's too low. Nothing about this card stands out to me. I really don't, I'm really not enticed by this card at all. Uh, we obviously have to check his underlying stats, but I don't think that his underlying stats can't save him. He's a bad passer with low speed. Can't have it. Not a big fan next all right guys so yeah tyler lockett really really fast card now i wish the speed was a few notches higher just because we already have like tory holtz and guys like close to 90 speed already but so far i'm loving this card out of the bunch because they gave him a lot of, see his speed would be his speed would suck at a 90 if he didn't have all these other stats because typically when you get a guy like to lock it you're hoping for like the fastest card in the game really bad catch really bad route running but they actually made him a receiver this time so an actual receiver with like deandre hopkins type stats and stuff and like regular receiver stats a 90 speed looks a lot better. So, like, if DeAndre Hopkins had a 90 speed, he'd be one of the best receivers in the game. Tyler Lockett has 90 speed. A typical Tyler Lockett card. He's not that great because his catching and route running are too low. But they actually made him a real receiver, which I do really like. 90 speed. 5 foot 10 is a little low, but his height and jumping don't exactly matter for the way you're going to use him. 93 catching, which is amazing on a Lockett card. 86 catch and traffic, amazing on a Lockett card. If you power him up and cam him up, you could potentially get that to a 90. Uh, but he's gonna have a decently high spec catch at 85 84 short route running is really good for him 87 medium route running is insanely good for him and 90 deep route running chemmed up powered up and everything he could potentially have the medium route running threshold deep route running threshold above 90 a 90 above catch and traffic and above 90 catching and an above 90 speed this card's going to be a beast if i get in that card he's gonna be one of my top options most certainly but i'll be ranking that in this video so stay tuned for all that next we got earl thomas boys earl thomas on the ravens 92 overall free safety i don't know why i want him so bad i don't entirely know Obviously, I don't think he's, he might not even be the best choice, but I really want this Earl Thomas card. He has the zone, um, like the zone archetype type card. I don't really know archetypes too well just yet. Scary Sharp, that is a really cool logo for the Scary Sharp. He's obviously 5 foot 10, boys. It's kind of one of the, kind of what sucks about him, right? Although he's amazing in zone and can get to place, he gets mossed a lot. He gets jumped over. He has, he has his little, he has his defects, um, of all of his cards and i'll go over that in a second he's 5 for 10 80 speed right the speed's decent i wish it was like an 88 speed that would have been a lot better powered up would be an 87 which is still on the lower side he's got 88 excel which is pretty good 77 tackles really low 93 play rec is amazing 76 pursuits way too low i love pursuit pursuits are really important on a safety card 80 man coverage which is really good in free safety 94 zone which is amazing 85 hit power which for an old thomas card is pretty good now powered up cammed up all the way with abilities and everything is he could potentially get a 98 zone coverage he can get a decently middle range uh, man coverage, a really high play rec, and like an 87 speed, and like an 89 excel, and an 86 hit power. Now, here's the issue with all Thomas cards, right? If the ball is thrown to a zone, he potentially will pick it off. He will be a monster in that sense. But here's the issue, right? So, he's a liability in the run game. And we're in a, a meta run heavy Madden right now, and he is a liability. I had him, his other card, when Madden was a little bit just starting. If they run to the left, if you run cover two and stuff, and they run to the left side, the defensive end takes on the blocker the linebacker comes over the top 
If the linebacker doesn't make the tackle, it's juked out. It goes on to Earl Thomas. He's right there to fill the gap. Perfect play should be over. He either trucks Earl Thomas because he has a 77 tackle, or because he has an 85 hit power, try hit sticking with him, or he jukes him out because he, he he can't close him. He's not fast enough, so I had to take a good angle and he jukes him out, or he takes a change of direction and Earl Thomas is too slow to change his hips too because he's an 86 speed with low agility, or they throw on him on the left side and he's right. He gets into the perfect position to pick it off, but he's too tight and he gets mossed. There's so many things that happen with this Earl Thomas card. I promise you I had him. And the other thing is he'll get to the play, but he always gives up more yards. Like if he gets to the running back, the guy always falls forward because Earl Thomas is so tiny. He's weaker. He doesn't have the best tackling. So the guy always falls forward. It's very rare that Earl Thomas stops progression right when he makes a tackle. But let's rank these cards. So we got Cam Newton, Tyler Lockett, and Earl Thomas. So in first, what should I say last, I'm going to be ranking Cam Newton in last, guys. I love Cam Newton in real life. Awesome, fun card. The idea of Cam Newton's fun, but... <clears throat> I can't advertise these stats. Why would I get rid of my Lamar or Vic for a worse card with less speed <clears throat> with the same inadequate passing? Doesn't make sense to me personally. Next on the list, I'm probably gonna have to rank Earl Thomas in second. <clears throat> Earl Thomas, free safety, awesome card, but he has his deficiencies. I've seen him firsthand. I'd much rather wait for, I believe, a Sean Taylor or get my full Brian Dawkins or for a, any kind of mutt tank type drop, which they already dropped Calvin, so I don't really want Calvin, but you guys get the point. There'll be something. Maybe even within the same promo. And first, not to go with Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett out of the bunch seems like the best. He is a real type receiver with actual speed, decent all around abilities. Now, I want to see what his uh, stats after the catch are, but he's a pretty awesome receiver. Now, remember, we might be getting two. We might get one free from house rules and one potentially close to one free from solos. That remains to be seen, but if that does happen, boys, I'll probably end up taking Earl Thomas for a second. But that is about it for the video, guys. Let's go over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, so we're back on the Madden screen, boys. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope these rankings helped you guys. Hope you guys can finish the house rules pretty easily. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Enjoy your house rules. Enjoy the 75 wins. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Run it up. Let's get to 11K as quickly as possible. Make sure to drop a like on the video. If any video today or tomorrow hits 400 likes, I will be giving away 50K per day. And if it don't hit it tomorrow, I'll probably just throw it to you guys tomorrow anyways, just for showing all the crazy support as of late. And comment down below 50K so that if I pick a commenter, you're entered. And don't forget to like the video, boys. That is about it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Enjoy the most of your promo. I'm out. See you guys next video.